you take the long historical uh, view of our circumstances, it seems to me there are, there are certain years, there are certain moments which act as, as markers uh, in history. Uh, if I look just over the last hundred years, because we're talking about the long sweep of things, if I say 1929, if I say 1945, say 1980, around there, 2008, and now 2016, 2016 is one of these moments. I mean, that is the sense of what you're all saying. We are at a moment where I think two things are coinciding. Some type of uh, systemic crisis of, of, of global capitalism, and previous speakers have spoken to that. But at the same time, and I think it's a great merit of this gathering to have put it into focus, there is a moral crisis. There is a crisis of values. And we have to, I think, address both of these crises simultaneously. And that is, and I think it's very important to retain it, that is the context in which your question has to be addressed. Now, here we are, against that background, on the cusp of, in the early moments, of a fourth industrial revolution, to use uh, the current parlance. Uh, and, and here, I, I think you can break down the issues confronting us into two parts. One is a purely quantitative question of, it's a Schumpeter question, uh, is this going to create or is this going to destroy more jobs? And if you look at the historic record of the first three revolutions, you say, well, if you hang on to your seats tightly enough and you get over the turbulence, you come out ahead. You come out ahead. Society comes out ahead. You end up with more jobs. You end up with greater prosperity. You end up with societies moving forward. And the question is, can we make the assumption or not that the fourth revolution will give an equally positive outcome. Now, I certainly do not say because it, would, it ended up happily on the first three occasions, there will be a happy ending on the fourth occasion. But nor do I fall into what I believe to be a trap of techno-determinism and say technology is going to decide the future of jobs, the future of employment. I think the key point, and I've heard it said already uh, this morning, is how technology impacts upon the world of work will depend entirely upon how we manage it, how we use it, how we harness it. I am somewhat disheartened, and I think it's unhelpful, when I see these very precise projections, and there's quite a lot of them out there, about how many jobs and which types of jobs are going to be created and which destroyed in the future. These are projections and predictions which um, have two defaults, two defects. One is they are made with an unwarranted degree of confidence and precision. There's lots of things we don't know that people pretend that we do. Uh, that's the first problem with them. And the second problem is they lead to policy paralysis. They lead to the notion that this is decided for us and all we have to do is sit back and wait uh, for the effects. So my view on this sort of fourth technological revolution is you know, our future is not written in our stars. Our future is for us to make.